Welcome back to Learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to create your own photo filter. I've got a simple photo right here and we want to create a filter for that. We can do so by adding a new layer. So just click on this sign down here. I'll call it photo filter. Don't get confused by the color tag. It's not the actual color of the layer. So just keep it as default. For the mode, we'll pick normal and we'll change it afterwards. Same goes for opacity and width and height should be the same as your photo by default. Foreground and background colors are these colors. So foreground is black in my case, white is the background. You could also make it transparent or use white in a pattern. So I'll stick to the foreground, which makes it black. Let's confirm it. And here's the new layer. It's on top of the photo, which is why the entire screen is now black. And we can change the mode right here, which adjusts the blending of this layer. Some blending modes, they completely filter out black. Some completely filter out white. But there's also this one, color erase, which erases the black color from the original photo. Let us change the foreground color to, let's say, red. I confirm it, and I use the bucket tool right here. Short key for that is Shift B. And I click on this layer, so the black layer is now turned red. And if I change the blending mode now, let's use green. And now I'll play around with the opacity. And you can see that this creates very simple photo filters that are colored and we can use them on any photo. For the most part, you want to use screen and multiply and then play around with the opacity. These two create the best results. And if you want to change the color, you can, for example, just duplicate the layer, click on this icon down here. Then change the foreground color. Let me use the color wheel this time. And I make it green. I confirm it. And I've still got the bucket tool active. So I click on the screen. And now it's greenish. And once again, you can play around with the opacity to adjust the result. On this, you can easily create your own photo filters in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.